Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider the concept of equivalent circuit of diode. So, if I want to define the definition of equivalent circuit of diode, an equivalent circuit is a combination of elements properly chosen to best represent the actual terminal characteristics of a device or a system in a particular operating region. So, this is the definition of equivalent circuit of any element. So, for example, uh, I consider the VI characteristics of a diode. If I want to approximate it, I want to write the equivalent circuit for that. Without actually affecting the terminal characteristics of a diode, I have to write the equivalent circuits. So, if I consider, uh, whenever I consider the equivalent circuit of a diode, basically there are three types. So, let me write uh, those three types first. So the first type is ideal diode. So, let me write it as ideal diode model. So, we call it as ideal diode model. This is the first type of diode equivalent circuit. And the second type is piecewise linear model. I call it as piecewise linear model. So, this is the second type of diode equivalent circuit. And there is third type that we call it as approximate model approximate model. So, what are these things? So, we will consider uh, uh, one by one and we will try to understand uh, what is uh, the VI characteristics and how does uh, the equivalent circuit of a diode uh, look like. So, first uh, let me consider ideal diode model. So, let me write the same thing ideal diode model. So, first we will consider this and we will try to explain this with the help of uh, VI characteristics. For that, let me get uh, the X and Y axis. Yes. So, here I would call Y axis and this is X axis. Let uh, Y axis be the current ID and uh, current uh, the X axis uh, let it be uh, the supply voltage VD. Uh, the forward the diode forward voltage VD and the current through the diode is ID that is along uh, Y axis. As the name itself says ideal diode model what this could be. So, once uh, once we are writing the uh, equivalent models for the diode one should have the uh, the VI characteristics of a diode. Oh, how does VI characteristics of a diode look like? In the forward region the diode conducts and uh, the reverse uh, region the diode does not conduct and in case of forward uh, bias region the growth uh, the the graph is an exponential uh, graph so now i want to write the ideal diode uh, model as the name itself says ideal diode the diode is ideal what does that mean the diode conducts as soon as the supply voltage becomes greater than zero that's it and in uh, reverse bias i don't get any current uh, the, the current is going to be zero. So let me let me draw the circuit diagram. I mean the graph for that. So in uh, the reverse bias, diode does not conduct. The current will be zero. And I said uh, in uh, when when the VD is made greater than zero, diode starts conducting, and I start getting the current ID. Correct. So this I call it as the ideal diode model. The diode conducts. So if I want to write the expression for this, the diode, the diode conducts when V D is made greater than zero. But what actually happens if the diode is made up of silicon or if it is made of germanium, uh, there is something called knee voltage. Till that point, diode does not conduct. And after that, diode starts conducting. As I am as I'm saying, this is ideal diode model. As soon as the supply voltage VD becomes greater than zero, immediately diode starts conducting. Correct? And uh, uh, if VD is less than zero, in reverse biased, diode does not conduct at all. But in reality, there is something called reverse saturation current, but that does not appear over here. Getting it? So, this is uh, reverse biased. This is uh, reverse biased and uh, this region I called as forward biased. Forward biased. Correct? 
So this is what the graph is. And if I want to uh, write the equivalent circuit of a diode, so I'll just include one diode. And uh, this will be uh, the current through the diode, I call it as ID. And the voltage I apply is known as VD. So this is the equivalent circuit. This is symbol. Symbolically, this is how it looks like. This is positive. This is the negative. This is anode. This is cathode. This is how ideal diode model looks like. That is the explanation for ideal model. So we'll move on. Let me consider now the second one that I call it as piecewise piecewise linear model. So whenever I consider uh, any of the models, first I, I need to draw its VI characteristics and I need to draw the equivalent circuit for a diode. Again, let me draw the VI characteristics for this. Uh, let me get x-axis and y-axis, yes. So here again I would call y-axis as the current ID diode current and x-axis let be the diode forward voltage uh, VD. How does this look like? Now I'll consider the VI characteristics of a diode. The whatever the exponential curve is there that can be approximated with uh, two pieces of straight lines and they are linear hence the name piecewise linear model the whatever the VA characteristic the original VA characteristics of a diode I have I'll approximate that with two pieces of straight lines hence the name piecewise linear model so if I want to draw it that is how it looks like in uh, Reverse biased, I don't get anything. And uh, till Vt, the current is 0. So this is the point. I call it as the knee voltage Vt or Vk. Correct? And after this, diode starts conducting. So here I would draw another straight line. So I'm not getting it right. Yes, this time, yes. So this I call it as piecewise linear model. So what it is actually? The actual uh, VI characteristics of a diode is approximated with two pieces of straight line. This is first piece and this is second piece of uh, uh, straight line. Correct? This is what the piecewise linear model. And uh, how does the, the diode equivalent circuit look like? So let me draw the diode. This is the diode. And I need to include here till VT diode does not conduct this is zero till VT diode does not conduct and there this is uh, indicated with the help of a battery voltage so this is battery voltage this I call it as uh, VT if the diode is made up of silicon it will be 0.7 if it is made up of germanium it is it is uh, 0.3 volt and once the diode starts conducting you can see it there is still some resistance involved that I call it as dynamic resistance so let me include that dynamic resistance over here so I have included the dynamic resistance RD so this I call it as the dynamic resistance RD so this is known as the equivalent circuit of a diode for piecewise linear model and the voltage applied is a VD. So this is how it has been represented. So this I call it as the forward diode voltage VD. And uh, here uh, VT, what is VT? VT is uh, the cutting voltage or the knee voltage of the diode. If it is made up of silicon, it is 0.7. If it is made up of germanium, it is uh, 0.3 volt and after that diode starts conducting uh, even though diode starts conducting there is some dynamic resistance involved for the flow of uh, current that is represented as RD and this uh, diode whatever is uh, indicated I call this as ideal diode and this is equivalent circuit of a diode and this is VI characteristics of piecewise linear model so in brief piecewise linear model the actual VI characteristics of a diode is approximated with two pieces of straight line you can remember it this way yes moving on further let me consider the third one uh, that I call it as approximate model so let me write it I say it is approximate model so let me write the same thing approximate model so what actually this is so again let me consider uh, the VI characteristics uh, and uh, let me indicate that so Y axis is the current ID and X axis is the voltage uh, forward voltage VD so what happens now so this I can uh, derive it from 
piecewise linear model in piecewise linear model once the diode starts conducting i say there is some dynamic resistance involved now to get approximate model i say once the diode starts conducting there is no resistance at all in the sense rd is made equal to 0 are you getting it if i want to write the piecewise i mean the approximate model how does the vi characteristics look like till vt till the new voltage diode does not uh, conduct hence i get it as uh, zero once the diode starts conducting i said uh, dynamic resistance the resistance involved is zero here there was some resistance hence i got this as the linear now if there is no resistance at all how does the waveform look like if there is no resistance involved it would look something like this are you getting it so this is uh, the approximate uh, model that is how it exactly looks like so let me draw it neatly one more time yes i'm getting it right this time so when there is no resistance involved this is how the waveform uh, looks like correct so if i again uh, so here i can indicate rd equal to zero the dynamic resistance is a zero if i want to draw the equivalent circuit of a diode so i will uh, include this I would call this as the ideal diode here uh, diode needs some voltage if it is made up of uh, germ uh, silicon it is 0.7 if it is of uh, made up of silica uh, germanium it is uh, 0.3 silicon it is 0.7 germanium it is 0.3 so this I call it as VT I'll indicate that with a battery voltage and this is the ideal uh, diode ideal uh, diode and the applied forward voltage is nothing but uh, VD so that also I will indicate it over here correct so this is how the approximate model looks like so this is what uh, we have explained uh, the equivalent circuits of diode basically there are three types one is ideal diode model piecewise linear model and approximate model ideal diode is the one as soon as VD becomes greater than zero diode starts conducting immediately and there is no resistance offered at all this is how it looks like and if I consider a piecewise linear model in case of piecewise linear model the actual VA characteristics of a diode are approximated with the help of two states line this is first straight line this is second straight line and once the diode starts conducting there is some dynamic resistance involved until we till knee voltage diode does not conduct and hence uh, that is indicated with the help of a uh, battery voltage vt and once diode starts conducting there is some resistance involved that is indicated using the resistance rd and this is ideal diode and in case of approximate model uh, till vt diode does not conduct and once it starts conducting there is no resistance offered at all uh, in case of this rd equal to zero and in case of piecewise linear model i just forgot to tell one thing dynamic resistance rd it is equal to uh, 26 millivolt divided by id this can be proved but the proof is out of scope and we have to remember this uh, value for dynamic resistance which is 26 millivolt divided by id yes this is all about uh, uh, equivalent circuit of a diode if there are any doubts please let me know them out of the comment section and i would definitely address those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on basic electronics till then uh, thank you everyone for watching